And let's get it the f on. This song is called Before I Forget Who Is. I'm gonna see 20,000 up with the f Okay, so uh, VH1 here, and um, we uh, we uh, decided to take an interview out today outside with a um, a very uh, uh, very well known person from the metal scene of um, rock music, the rock genre of music. And uh, today, I'm happy to say that we're here with Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hello, VH1, all the fans out there, uh, Slipknot and Stone Sour. Um, yeah, Corey Taylor, um, I you got some questions for me. Yeah, so, um, I thought we'd start out with maybe some more personal info, you know, I just, um, maybe you could, uh, give us some information on the band, maybe any, uh, personal life, like relationships, or anything you'd like to share with you. Um, uh, yeah, I guess, uh, we can go ahead and, uh, I can't really think of anything to start out talking, so just go ahead and um, throw some questions at me and I'll start there. So, um, first of all, have you had any uh, past relationships or anything like that? What are you doing? That's too personal, you can't just ask me like that. What do you want me to ask you? Like, maybe something about the band or something, I don't know, we just had a new album, ask about that. I don't f***ing need to answer you know, about my f***ing life. F*** it like that. Okay, um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but I was just gonna, I had some already thought of questions that I've been asked to do by the, uh, owners of this show, and, uh... Um, I can skip those questions. <laughs> okay, uh... I guess... <laughs> Is there anything personal that you'd like to share about the band? Um, yeah. Uh, some people may know out there, um... Sid broke his ankles when he was jumping off. He was doing some crazy stuff. In, like, a uh, first day of our tour. Um... But yeah, he's still go doing all this crazy stuff out there, you know, pushing himself to the limits, all that good stuff. Um, we're just having a lot of fun out there. Nice. So, uh, we probably sold a lot of places out, and uh, obviously, uh, we can talk about your fans and uh, you know, anything like that. You'd like to share with the fans. Uh, um, yeah, we've had some pretty crazy maggots out there who've been doing some, uh, some insane stuff, like, uh, you know, all kinds of moshing, and we've actually had a couple people get really badly hurt in some of the moshes that we've heard about, and, uh, we went and visited them. Some of them got in the hospital, and we went and visited them, visited them on, uh, on their behalf, and, uh, we're just all really cool people, and we got them some, uh, free things, like, uh, a new copy of our a uh, copy of our new album. You know, all hope is gone. You should go out there and get it. It's uh, just came out uh, yesterday, uh, 20, uh, the 16th. Very cool. I listened to his uh, songs and it sounds like it's a real promising album. Yeah, I'd like to think it's uh, one of our better albums. Uh, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got a little bit more hard stuff. Not as hard as uh, Iowa or the self-titled album, but we still uh, it's still pretty good. Uh, and we also have some softer songs for those people who don't like the harder stuff, like Sulphur, or, or not, not Sulphur, uh, Snow, but Sulphur is one of the harder songs. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. And, uh, yeah, so it sounds uh, very gig, you know, try some new stuff, and, uh, I hope it works out. Okay, so, uh, now we're going to go to break, and we'll be right back with, uh, more from, uh, Hey, I'm Corey Taylor, and, I'm, and when I want to drink, the only thing I reach for is a nice Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Dr. Pepper, 23, 23 flavors, you gotta like one of them. 
23 so good. Maybe she's 23 members in her band. Anyways, all you maggots out there, enjoy a nice Dr. Pepper. And also get the brand new Slipknot album, All Hope Is Gone, featuring songs such as Psychosocial, Child of Burning Time, and Sulfur. Brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, 23 flavor. 